Yeah, look, it is. It's a really positive one as far as being able to get Phil back to the club. We're one that we're really excited about, and uh, you know, we know that what he brings is an enormous amount of experience and, and only helps our coaching panel get better. You know, and uh, you know, that, the unfortunate part about that is we have to let someone go, and we, we've made the decision to let Sean go. So, Sean, from our point of view, was very, very, very much an important part of our, our coaching structure. Certainly in my 12 months here, he was much a very valued member of that team. But when you have to make change and you get someone like Phil Walsh come about, obviously we, we can't fit everything in and, and we made that decision and we're really excited about having Phil back. Did he pursue you guys or did you guys touch base with him? How did it all unfold? Oh, no, no, it was a, it was a, a, a little bit of con contact between, we knew that there was some chance that Phil was thinking about we're coming home, so we, we did what we should do and that was to follow that up. And uh, you know, as soon as we got to the season out of the way, we, we moved quickly to, uh, to make sure that we got the opportunity to get him. Ken, have you worked with him? I actually worked with Phil as a player, funnily enough. Uh, at Geelong, he was our conditioning coach at the time and my, might have been my last year as a player, I'm not quite sure. But uh, So I have had some contact with Phil and I've known him for a long time. So I uh, look forward to the opportunity to getting back together and you know, and using his knowledge to help us become a better footy club. So do you look at your coaching panel now and go, that's as good as anyone's got in the competition? Oh, well, we hope so. I mean, we, we've, we've always got to look to get better, you know, and that's what we've, we're trying to do all the time here as a football club. Our players, our club, our, our executive team and our coaching team, we're always trying to get ourselves better and put ourselves in a position. We're really comfortable that we have got really good experienced people at our football club in that area now. So it's too good to pass up on when you become available? <clears throat> yeah, it's almost a bit like that. It's almost a bit that we know how highly regarded Phil Walsh is in the industry and, you know, he was coming back to Adelaide. We just... You know, and he, and he has a great Port Adelaide connection, so we, we just needed to make sure that we, if there was a chance that we were there for him. They say he's got a great footy brain, is that the way you view it with him? Yeah, yeah, he's an incredibly smart football person and uh, you know, knows the game inside out. He's been over at West Coast for five years and worked in their system, which was really strong, and you know, it can only help us as a football club to, to get some of that information back here at this club. A few years ago, one of the footy managers said that no one wants to come to Port Adelaide. Do you think that there's a complete shift in that sense that seems like everyone wants to come back to Port Adelaide and maybe get drunk here. Um, no, I hope, hope from a play, look, I hope from a playing point of view that people view Port Adelaide as a really positive place and the, and the young boys in the under-18 championships this year would go, gee, if I got drafted to Port Adelaide like Ollie Wines did last year and Jake Need did and Mason Shaw, that it would be a really good spot to go and, and develop my football and get the most out of my football talent and that's what we'd love them to be able to think and for anyone else who wants to be a part of uh, the Port Adelaide football. We, we love the fact that if people want to come and be a part of our club, we, we really enjoy the fact that we have, we're a good club to work for and we're a fun club to be at and that we look to uh, continue to improve and keep climbing. Ken, how hard was it to tell Rennie, obviously, that you know, you wouldn't be renewing his contract? Yeah, really difficult. I mean, it's the first time in, in this role that I've had to do something like that and Sean's a terrific person. I have a great amount of respect for him and you know, it was a really hard decision to one to make and then two to deliver the message because I know um, you know Sean's a really passionate bloke and you know did everything he possibly could to help us get better